Hey yo DJ, spin that shit. <laughs> it's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yo, what is up? What is good with y'all? Hope you're doing well today. As you can see in front of us, we have the Pepsi versus Coke or Coke versus Pepsi challenge. Normally it's just the colas, but also what you may not know or probably definitely know is that these two beverages are also under the brand of both Pepsi and Coke. So Sprite being Coke, 7 Up being under Pepsi. I think these are both very iconic if we're talking the colas. Alternatively, if we're talking like yin yang, light and dark, you know what I mean? These are the next iconic sodas compared to these. So I figured why just stop at the cola when we can take it to the lemon lime twist clear soda as well. So I've been wanting to actually do this for a long time. I don't know why I never did, but I do have what we need and I got the lazy Susan. That's gonna come in handy when we start mixing up the medicine so that we don't know what we be sipping on and what's gonna make that even more possible is my sleep mask. And yes, I did not have to order this sleep mask for this video. I wear one of these sound bitches every night, okay? So we have our lights out, Rocky Raccoon mask. So the next thing we have to do is get them in indistinguishable containers. So I've got my 1980s Pizza Hut issued clear cups. So before we get it into these cups, there's two things that we need to do. You guys know who I am. I am an icy guy. I'm definitely having these on equal parts ice. I gotta make sure it's measured like basically equal, right? We don't wanna have any tells. And uh, also just a side note, if you don't drink your soda cold on ice, I personally think you're a psychopath. Who drinks soda at room temperature or piss warm? It just, it doesn't make sense. Please don't do it, it's offensive. Now what's not offensive though, are these sick ass stickers that I picked up from the dollar store. We're gonna put a sticker on each so that we can identify after I come out of the blindfold, which one was which. So All right, so in the spirit of winter, and because I am a Canadian, I picked the cool ass dude on a snowmobile for this cup. And then the other one, we're gonna go ahead and give to, to stay in line with the winter theme, we're gonna give it to the ski jumper doing the bone air, okay? This guy is hitting that bone air, as you can see. Very good, sir. You do that. All right, let's excuse two members. We came here predominantly for the cola. So I would say we came here for the heavyweight title fight. That's gonna be lightweight after this, but these are the heavyweights. We know this, we have Pepsi and Coke, the Goliaths of the soda industry. It tears people apart. Democrats, Republicans, very fitting day. You know what I mean? Presidential elect is today. That shit should be wild. So let's go ahead and do this. Try to even out this ice. No. So we have equal ice. I would say very, very equal ice. Pepsi going into snowmobile man. And we have to get equal pour as well. I'm gonna put it right up to the edge of the ice where there's no more fizz. While that's defizzing, we'll get this guy going too, the Coke. All right, we move our contenders to the side. I personally think this should be pretty easy. Then again, I have no idea. But as J-Rock in Trailer Park Boys would say, it's time to spin more rhymes than a Lazy Susan. <laughs> On the Lazy Susan. So I hope these don't spill over and tip. I'm just going to give them a nice little scratch and spin and hopefully we don't have a mess okay i have no idea where anything could be why am i closing my eyes inside of here oh okay i can't touch the stickers i'm way down low at the bottom i have no idea what the stickers feel like right i have not touched up high on the glass and because I'm right-handed, I'm gonna go with my right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Initially, I'm like, I know what that is, but then the taste set in and I was like, uh, I don't know if I know what that is. Mm. 
Mm, okay. Okay. I watched Ben Dean's version of this video, which this is inspired by, by the way. And he actually got it wrong, but he thinks Pepsi is inferior to Coke. I don't know. I think, yeah, I think I'd choose a Coke over a Pepsi, but I both enjoy them both, to be honest. But I can t definitely tell. This is Pepsi. This is the snowmobile. This is Coke. This is the ski jumper doing bone air. And I'm 100% certain. Okay? <laughs> I hope. Hey, yeah, yeah, of course it is. Now I got a lot of experience with these, uh, these two beverages. The thing about Coke is it is noticeably more sweet, just more sugar. It's kind of, it's thicker in the mouth. Pepsi is a thinner, a thinner beverage or something, but they're actually, I've never tasted them side by side, like on purpose, right? So I want to say they almost have a different smell too, right? Hard to, hard to say, but I'm proud of myself, pat myself on the back. That's one round for me, zero for you guys. I'm sorry, but I am a soda aficionado. It just means that I'm a fat ass who's drank too much of these in my entire life. So. I'm going to clear these out, rinse these, I'll be back, and then we bring in the lightweight title contenders of Sprite and 7 Up. Two pops that I don't ever really drink. I, I'm not like a huge fan of either, so this one should be more challenging to try to decipher which is which. But let me clean these up, refill them with ice, and we'll get to the next one. All right, so these are refreshed, dried, and iced equally. We got the snowmobiler on the left and the skier on the right and to our left and right, we got the lightweight champions. We'll, we'll see who's gonna reign supreme. But uh, like I said, I don't really mess with, e with either of these sodi pops too hard. One crucial thing to remember is that we got the Sprite in the ski jumper and the seven up in the snowmobile. Is that an even pour? Not quite. A little more seven up is required. I'd say that's pretty dang even. Pop these guys off to the side just so that they don't get too crazy and cause me any spills. But night, night, time to go night, night. Do a little <laughs> spindaloo here. I was pretty aggressive on the last one. So might as well go aggressive on this one as well to keep things nice and equal, all things equal. Now once again, we search from the bottom because we don't want to touch the stickers. And this time I'm going to go from my left hand first, just to switch things up. So, wine connoisseur. Okay. Off top, I want to say I know what that is, but I could be fooled. Those are way too similar. You might as well call them the same product. <laughs> Pardon me for having to smack around, but I'm just looking for any distinction. And I really cannot tell. This is me going out on a limb, basically. It was a 50-50, just general shot. I just want to say that this one seems maybe a little sharper. A little more carbonated, a little sharper, a little something like that. And this one feels... I don't know, I'm getting Pepsi vibes off this one. This is giving me Coke vibes, it's giving me Pepsi. So I, I really don't know. I'm going to say 7-Up Sprite. <laughs> Come on, please, 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 please. No! <laughs> Damn! It's the skier, so it is the Sprite. And this is the 7-Up. Back where we started, again, that's so interesting how that happens. Um, wow, that's crazy. I did not 
see that coming. I really did not see that coming. I for sure felt like this was a Sprite, but like I said, very indistinguishable, very hard to tell. So I'll call that a tie game. The lightweights took me out. The heavyweights had nothing for me. So pat myself on the back for that one. But uh, these ones were definitely harder to discern and distinguish. This video, very interesting, very fun to me. I would like to do some more of these. If you guys have any good ideas, write them down below. Any like, you know, head to head things that would be hard to kind of compare to a blind mouth. I'd be down to do some more. I will, of course, brainstorm some for myself and see if I can come up with any interesting ideas as well. But yeah, that was enjoyable. So I hope you did enjoy it as well. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, and stay true.